Hello guys, you're welcome. My name is Bukumi PK Crown. So guys, we're going to be checking out this video titled Former Christian Priest Helped Over 600 Christian Priests to Convert to Islam. Let's watch. Assalamu alaikum. In this episode, we're bringing a miraculous story of a Christian priest named Musa Bangura who left his wealthy life of the church and became a delegated Muslim. What is really interesting is that he is not an ordinary Christian. Both his father and brother are pastors in the church and his entire family have been dedicated themselves to the service of the church. Zemusa Bangura, formerly called Mark Moses Bangura, is from Sierra Leone and had his family root deeply embedded in Christianity. Due to Moses' bright and intelligent personality from young age, he was sent to a church school and a school for training priests, and he came out in flying colors. However, instead of assigning him to a church immediately after he graduated, the church official sent him to Nigeria to attend an evangelist church. He became an experienced evangelist priest that had the ability to persuade people. Even the church officials were amazed by how well Moses can conceive people about Christianity and how he can compel anyone to change their religion. That was an amazing talent because not everybody can do that. So Moses succeeded and he returned to Sierra Leone. He has become a fully trained priest, so he's ready to take up the missionary activities. He began to organize activities all over the country. He started from the Muslim community inviting them to Christianity. So what exactly drove him to become a Muslim when he has been preaching against Islam all his life? This is it. On a fateful night, he slept like a normal person would and had a dream. Here's the climax. Wait for it. Young man, why are you taking people away from the light and calling them into <gasps> darkness? Why do you persist in the dark? Why don't you come into the light? Are you saying Christianity is this dark? This is a warning. Hey God, I've missed In his you. dream, he heard a man in a flowing garment say those to him. He was baffled and didn't tell anyone when he woke up the next day. After that, I had a dream. A young man telling me, Brother, this is a message that you are taking people from the light to the darkness. Stop doing this. Then now, come into the light. Then you can go to the darkness and taking the people from the darkness, bringing them to the light. Stop mislead, mislead the people. This is a warning for you. He thought it was Satan playing tricks with him and wanted to take his Bible to read. Then he realized it was like the young man was still around him. Moses spoke to a priest in the church about the dream since he kept wondering what it could be. The priest told him it was a demon trying to sabotage his mind because he's a high priest. But guys, let's understand that when the Almighty is calling you into the light, he won't leave you to go astray. Moses wasn't pleased with the answer he got from the priest since he already thought about that himself, but he knew the situation was about something else. The thought of the dream didn't leave him for a second, and he felt like it was tormenting him. Moses then visited the Imam at a mosque and explained the situation. The Imam said, My brother, you're a very lucky person. Look, Allah invites you to your religion without any intermediary. What are you waiting for? Moses was satisfied with what he heard and said he'll like to revert at that moment. The Imam, however, said he can't take that decision and took him to the director. The director saw him, and since Moses was quite popular, the director was surprised that the high priest wanted to revert. Moses explained to him too, and he was told to come back on a Friday. As he was going, he thought about the Christian church and how they've financed his life. He thought about the properties that were bestowed to him by Christians and were like, he will revert. He was like, why will I leave Christianity that had everything and come to Islam that has nothing? And this was one of his struggles on the path of becoming a Muslim. We all should know that the Almighty loves us and when he makes decisions, it's for our own good. 
Moses had the dream again, and he knew he had no choice but to revert. He went back on a Friday, took the Shahada, had a bath, and became Muslim. Alhamdulillah. During the time for Jummah and the Muslim congregation song, they were afraid at first, thinking he bought another crusade to the masjid. Imagine their surprise when they got to know that he was there to revert. Hence, this is the beginning of Moses' journey towards being a Muslim. He changed his name to Musa Bangua to ascertain his faith. It's one thing to have accepted the call of entering into the fold of Islam, and it's another to live with it. Musa was worried about how Christian missionary and his family will take the matter, but he believed Allah Almighty will get him through. Normally, the Christians usually have meetings every Friday. After taking the Shahada on that blessed Friday, Musa went to the church meeting. When the pastors and priests saw him, they were surprised. They asked about the reason he cut his hair and is wearing a garment that's worn by the Muslims. Musa replied by saying, he is now a Muslim. The pastors were speechless and thought Musa was going mad when he explained his dreams and decisions. They later commanded one of them, a pastor, to stay with Musa and see if he's truly a Muslim and isn't going mad. The pastor followed him home while counseling and telling him to go back to Christianity. The pastor told Christian missionaries what happened and the church made a decision. They took all of Musa's properties without allowing him to pack a single thing. He was left with nothing and had to hide with a Muslim friend. He wasn't allowed any contact with his relatives, although he got to see his sister who told him not to go home. Musa was able to contact his wife and explained his predicament. Moreover, his wife's family are Christians, so hmm. all his pleading fell on deaf ears. They got divorced and he was left with no one. Likewise, he can't stay in hiding forever, which was the reason the Muslim community wrote a letter to the church council telling him they'd be held responsible if something bad happened to Musa. Furthermore, the period of hiding helped Musa improve rapidly in his Islamic education and he proceeded to start calling people towards Islam. He began his da'wah activities back as a Muslim and helped many people become Muslims. Brother Musa Bangura now travels from village to village, from town to town, spreading the message of Islam. Everywhere he goes, he challenges the missionary priests and the Christian clergy that he can prove Islam is the truth. If I win, you will be Muslim. If you win, I will become a Christian. These debates have helped over 650 priests and many of their congregations towards Islam. Yes, well, uh, now it's more than 600 pastors. Now it's more than. And alhamdulillah, even some of my pastors, that the other pastors converts, I sent some to Liberia to work now because Liberia is a Christian-dominated country. And I sent some to the different cities in Sierra Leone, those who are former pastors. I trained them just like what I'm doing. Now we are all over. I can boast of having more than 1,000 pastors now into Islam, which are doing the same work. Though we are struggling, we are suffering, but we are doing this because we are running the hereafter, not this world. His fame spread quickly, so much so that they no longer dare to confront him. Alhamdulillah. May Allah increase his reward and elevate his rank in both worlds. Assalamu alaikum. I want to talk briefly about his dream. Christianity is not darkness, it's light. That dream, there's something about the dream that the man did not really understand. Maybe it's interpreted in another way, but no, you can't say Christianity is darkness. That one, I will not admit it. Christianity is the light. I'm not against him converting to Islam, but I'm just not okay with the kind of dream he had if you listen to the meaning of that dream he said why are you bringing people from the light to the darkness that is when he was trying to convert muslim to christian he had that dream so that that is to say christianity in that dream means no it can't be darkness christianity is not darkness i know of a lot of muslims that also convert to 
Christianity and I know a lot of Muslims that go to church to pray and God you know answers their prayer they go for healings they go for deliverance and God change their lives so that's not how I see the meaning of that dream but well I'm speechless I don't even know what to say about this again but <sighs> thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment I'll see you in the next one bye